Hello friends, I'm joining you from my kitchen as we have done for a very long time since COVID started and we started sending our children's sermons online. I'm back in here again today, but the topic that I want to talk to you about has to do a little bit with cooking, but a whole lot with the Bible. Because I like to cook, I have quite a collection of cookbooks. One of our wedding presents that we got when we were married many decades ago is a cookbook called The Joy of Cooking. It has a lot of basic recipes for some of those beginning cooks, chefs that are in our world. And actually, I think this has been reprinted many times but it is still something that um, I refer to from time to time. Another one of my favorite cookbooks is our own church's cookbook, the Bicentennial Cookbook. These days I can always find recipes online and so I use perhaps my telephone or um, my pad or the computer. And the thing about recipes or looking at cookbooks, I can read all the recipes and cookbooks that I want to. But if I don't try to cook those recipes, it does me no good to read and read and read. So what I see in my various recipes or cookbooks then I have to pull out the pots and pans and ingredients and utensils and prepare those dishes. So not only am I reading, but I am doing what the recipe says. Well, Reverend Becky has been leading a sermon series about the pyramid, that is the spiritual pyramid, and the foundation that she talks about today in her sermon is the Bible. And much like, much like when I may read a lot of recipes, if I don't follow the directions in the cookbook or from the online recipe, my recipe is not going to work and it's not going to taste very good. Well, when we use the Bible, and reading scripture is the foundation for our lives, then the Bible encourages us to practice, to do what it is that we are reading. So I want to ask you, for yourself as well as for me, am I reading the recipe or am I using it to improve my dishes that I prepare. And by the same token, are you and am I taking what I read from the Bible and applying it for my daily living? God's Word is our instruction book on how to live Christian lives. And God calls each of us to read, and then to do what it is that we have read in the Bible. Love, forgiveness, peace, patience, so much we learn in the Bible if we practice what it is that we read. Be blessed this week. Take time to either read or have a grown-up to read to you from the Bible and practice what it is that you have heard with your ears or read with your eyes and then you can apply to your life. In Christ's name, amen.